Okay, this is the screen class to show you how to use Web Expression 2 to create your web template, which you're then going to add to as you go along. So, to get to there, you need to go to the Start button, and then you need to go to All Programs, you need to go to Microsoft, and then you need to go to Web Expression, oh, Expression Web 2. So once you're there, you need to make sure that you've got design uh, selected, not code. So you code will give you the HTML. You don't want that, you just want design. And this is your blank blank template. This is where you're going to make your template and then use that for all the pages you're going to do. So the first thing you need to do is in web expression, uh, you need to do most things in tables, otherwise it's really difficult to make sure it all stays formatted properly. So we're going to get a table, we're going to insert a table. And we're going to make this one two rows and we're going to make it uh, five columns. The number of columns is how many links you want to put underneath your banner, basically. So we'll click OK. Now I've got two rows and I've got five columns. But this first row, I want to make that my uh, banner. So I need to modify that and I need to merge the cells. Now you can see I've got one big cell and I've got five smaller cells. Okay. Once you've got that set up, you then need to design your header. So go into www.cooltext.com and then you can start to uh, design your header. I'm just going to choose that one, the first one. Once you go into that, you need to think about what your title is going to be, what your website title is, and from your plan, and then choose the banner you want. Once we're in, we should then get up some text and it will ask us to change the text. So we'll just change that to just like ICT plus. Alright. So we want all that to be the same unless you want to change any of the colours. That's all fine. And I'm gonna make that a JPEG and then render. This might take a little bit of time. Still working it out. There we go. Okay, I want to download that image and I want to save it. And you'll need to save it wherever you put your website creation folder. So mine is in ICT web creation, and I'm going to call it um, spell, which is save that and close then we go back to expression web and we want to insert a picture from our files now all we need to do is go and find that picture you've just saved pretty much so it's in my desktop it's in my folder um, don't worry about alternative text, just press OK. And there you go, it's in there. Then what you need to do is for each of these navigation buttons, you need to go back to cool text and create the button and in the same way save them and then upload them into the box. Okay, so you can see I've gone in and I've created a button that says home, I've gone to insert picture from file and you can see inside my website creation folder I've also got a folder called pictures because you're going to need to save a lot of pictures there's the uh, button and then I just opened it okay so I've got all my five boxes filled now obviously you're going to put different things in there but I've just done this for ease of use then you're going to need to center them all so they all look right okay and there's your start of your template then we're going to need to put in something down the side here that we can add some links and we can add the main content. So again, we need to insert a table. And depending on how many links you want down here, that's how many rows you need. So let's say I want five rows and I want two columns because I want one row for the sorry, one column for the links and one column for all the content. So I click OK and there it's given me my my um, links and my 
content here. So I'll show you, I don't want the links to be that large, so I might well bring them so they're in line with the button. And this one here, this column here, we need to, again, go to right click, modify, merge cells, and now we've got one big space where we can do our writing and our information. Okay, then in here, we then add our links, so we could add either a picture, so I'm just going to put this one in, okay, okay, insert, just one more in, our contact, okay, and then you'd fill that up, okay, so therefore you've now got um, some information and it, it's starting to look a bit more like a web page that we can make use of. This here where you can see this flashing down the bottom, okay, what we need to do there is right click, cell properties, you want the vertical alignment to be at the top, apply that and then OK and now your cursor is at the top and you can fill in that space. So now we've created our template, let's imagine this is my, now my template, I need to save that, so I'm going to file, save as, again I want this to be in my ICT web creation folder, so I'll find that, ICT web creation, and let's call this um, template, UI. you can call it your business page, that's fine, save that. Now, for all these links across the top, you'll, all these five pages, you're going to need a separate page. So you need to go to File, Save As, and now you need to save it with a different thing. So it might be Year 9 Template, or Template Year 9 Feedback. Okay, Save that one. Now, this is the end here. If that was Feedback button, that would then be the page I would design for when I want to do the feedback. And I want to go to Save As again. And let's say I want to call it um, information because I might be doing about a tourist resort. I'll save that as well. So, what you should end up with is five different pages saved, which you can then open up and work on. So, I can now go to open, let's just go back into my web creation. Now, you can see there all the things I've done year nine feedback, information, year nine template. Now they'll all look the same at the moment, but I can start to add different content to these templates. There's my main template, then I can start adding, this is my home page, I can start adding content. That's what you need to do next, to start to add the content.